I'm Jennifer Crothers, I um, work at Rashley Care Home and I'm the Deputy Manager there. So the kind of quick version of the story behind how I ended up in social care was I needed a job that was a back shift. I had two small kids, I was at university doing teaching. Went into the care home and worked as a carer, four to ten, lovely wee back shift with no care experience at all. Within six months I was going to do my nursing training. So from then it became bank nurse in the care home, a wee stint in the NHS as nurse and then in the last four years became a deputy manager in the care home I'm in just now. What's kept me in social care is the, the drive that I have to change the stigma of how people feel about social care and working in social care. I feel that it's not equal in what you know, nurses from the NHS in comparison to nurses in social care. M my vision is to have us all treated the same and the nurses that work in social care to be valued like they are in other fields. Palliative care is, I'm champion of palliative care where I work and it's, it means a lot to me. We've recently had a resident who was in hospital. She had went in and it was because she just had a poor oral intake. Family weren't too keen about her going into hospital but GP never came out to see her and just said that ambulance to the hospital. So she ended up stuck there in the hospital. They were doing investigations. The family got the bad news that there was a lot going on um, and wasn't a, a good prognosis. She wasn't going to live. So the family wanted her out and wanted her home for palliative care. The hospital said that they were wanting another wee week just to kind of do further investigations. Family had decided that enough was enough. This is not what she would have wanted. I then got involved by, you know, communicating with the family, got involved with the hospital. That day, we managed to get her to the care home. Home wasn't an option, but Rashley was an option. It was a home from home. It was actually a member of staff's relative. So this was a, this, the second best thing. She came to us, the staff, palliative care being my background and my baby. The staff, I feel, are very much trained and they know the standards that we expect. They had the room ready, she loved flowers, they'd put flowers in the room for her arriving. She was still very aware and kind of aware of what was going on. She also knew she was dying. She had a favourite orchestra that she loved. We got an iPad set up in the room so that she could watch this, who she joked that she wouldn't have spent the money to go and see, but she loved this, um, this orchestra. So we had all that set up and got her meds in place and the family were allowed to spend the whole time with her. They didn't leave by her side and it was a very dignified and peaceful passing so I think it, it made me feel really good that we'd all done well in our job but also that it was good that the family got their wishes or the best that we could do. People are scared of coming into social care, they're worried about coming in because people are going to die and you know that's a, it's a the word in itself scares people but how we got round that with staff, with families, is just not being scared of saying it, not being scared of using the word dying. And it's worked really well for us, you know, discussing ACPs, discussing care plans with families, you know, saying the word dying, like, you know, and not skirting around that word and making it a topic that's actually can be pleasant to speak about and explaining why it's good to plan death. We've started Death and Dying Cafe where we're having relatives coming in and speaking about bereavement. So whether that be they've lost somebody or they're discussing the palliative care for their loved one in the future. And we always explain that if this is planned well in advance, it makes the journey so much better. It makes it so much easier to, to kind of cope with rather than making rash decisions, you know, when you've had the bad news that somebody's took a turn for the worst. So when it's planned in advance, it can make it just so much better and dignified. So it's just really about communication. It's making people not scared to be able to talk about things.